ओके सो हेलो एवरी वन द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू रीड टूडे इज द एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स सो अ काइंड रिमाइंडर देखिए एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स या फिर ये जो ऑडियो बुक्स हैं ये आप डायरेक्टली सुन नहीं सकते हो आपको बैकग्राउंड में उस चैप्टर का नॉलेज होना चाहिए आप कहो कि मुझे एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स के बारे में कुछ भी नहीं पता मैं डायरेक्टली ऑडियो बुक सुन लूँ तो इट इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प यू आउट ठीक है तो आप एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स या कोई भी चैप्टर हो उसको उसका नॉलेज आपके पास होना चाहिए कॉन्सेप्ट आपको पता होनी चाहिए एंड देन इफ़ यू गो फॉर ऑडियो बुक्स देन ओनली इट इज़ गोइंग टू हेल्प यू ऑडियो बुक्स आपके लिए एक रिविजन की तरह है ठीक है रिविजन में वो आपको हेल्प करेगा आप ये नहीं बोल सकते वो एक सप्लीमेंट है फॉर योर कॉन्सेप्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग नहीं इट इज नॉट एट ऑल गोइंग टू हेल्प यू तो प्लीज अगर आपको एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स के बारे में कुछ भी नहीं पता और आप सोच रहे हो कि मैं डायरेक्टली एन रीड कर लेता हूँ या डायरेक्टली मैं ऑडियो बुक सुन लेता हूँ तो प्लीज आप अपना टाइम वेस्ट करोगे इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प यू पहले नॉलेज जान लो टीचर्स से क्या समझा रहे क्या नहीं एंड देन यू रीड और गो टू एन सी आर टी ऑडियो बुक्स देन ओनली इट इज गोइंग टू वर्क आई होप आई हैव मेड माई सेल्फ क्लियर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ अल्कली एंड अल्कलाइन अर्थ मेटल्स डिफर इन मेनी रिस्पेक्ट फ्रॉम द अदर मेंबर्स ऑफ द ग्रुप The S block elements of the periodic table are those in which the last electron enters the outermost S orbital as the S orbital can accommodate only two electrons two groups 1 and 2 belong to S block of the periodic table Group 1 of the periodic table consists of the elements lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium सो आई हेव ट्रिक ऑल्सो इसके लिए लिथियम सोडियम पोटेशियम रूबोडियम सीजियम एंड फ्रांसियम के लिए लीना के रब से फरियाद ओके दे आर कलेक्टिवली नोन एज अल्कली मेटल्स दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड दे आर सो कॉल्ड बिकॉज दे फॉर्म हाइड्रोक्साइड्स ऑन रिएक्शन विथ वॉटर विच आर स्ट्रॉन्गली अल्कलाइन इन नेचर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ग्रुप टू इंक्लूड बेरिलियम मैगनीश कैल्शियम स्ट्रॉन्शियम बेरियम एंड रेडियम इसके लिए भी मेरे पास एक ट्रिक है बेरिलियम मैग्नीशियम कैल्शियम स्ट्रॉन्शियम बेरियम एंड रेडियम तो इट इज बेटा मागे कार स्कूटर बाप राशि ओके दीज एलिमेंट्स विद द एक्सेप्शन ऑफ बेरिलियम आर कॉमनली नोन एज द अल्कलाइन अर्थ मेटल्स these are so called because their oxides and hydroxides are alkaline in nature and these metal oxides are found in the earth's crust among the alkali metals sodium and potassium are abundant and lithium rubidium and cesium have much lower abundance francium is highly radioactive its longest lived isotope 223 francium has a half life of only 21 minutes of the alkaline earth metals calcium and magnesium rank 5th and 6th in abundance respectively in the earth's crust strontium and barium have much lower abundances Beryllium is rare and radium is the rarest of all comprising only 10 to to minus 10% of the igneous rocks. The general electronic configuration of S block elements is a noble gas NS1 for alkali metals and noble gas NS2 for alkaline earth metals. Lithium and beryllium the first element of group 1 and group to respectively exhibit some properties which are different from those of the other members of the respective group in these anomalous properties they resemble the second element of the following group thus lithium shows similarities to magnesium and beryllium to aluminium in many of their properties This type of diagonal similarity is commonly referred to as diagonal relationship in the periodic table. The diagonal relationship is due to similarity in ionic sizes and or charge to uh, charge per radius ratio of the elements. Monovalent sodium and potassium ions 
and divalent magnesium and calcium ions are found in large proportions in biological fluids. These ions perform important biological functions such as maintenance of ion balance and nerve impulse conduction. Group 1 Elements Alkali Metals The alkali metals show regular trends in their physical and chemical properties with the increasing atomic number. The atomic, physical and chemical properties of alkali metals are discussed below. First, Electronic Configuration All the alkali metals have one valence electron, NS1, outside the noble gas core. The, no, the loosely held S electron in the outermost valence shell of these elements makes them the most electropositive metals. They readily lose electron to give monovalent M plus ions. Hence, they are never found in free state in nature. Element lithium, the symbol is Li, the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s1 as the atomic number is 3. Then sodium, uh, Na, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Potassium, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1 and so on. You can refer to the table. Atomic and ionic radii. The alkali metal atoms have the largest sizes in a periodic in a particular period of the periodic table. With increase in atomic number, the atom becomes larger. The monovalent ions M plus are smaller than the parent atom. The atomic and ionic radii of alkali metals increase on moving down the group. That is, they increase in size while going from lithium to cesium. Ionization enthalpy The ionization enthalpies of the alkali metals are considerably low and decrease down the group from lithium to cesium. This is because the effect of increasing size outweighs the increasing nuclear charge and the outermost electron is very well screened from the nuclear charge. Hydration enthalpy The hydration enthalpies of alkali metal ions decrease with increase in ionic sizes. So, the statement becomes very important. Kya? Hydration enthalpy of alkali metal ions decrease with increase in ionic sizes. So, maximum it is Li plus, then Na plus, K plus, rubidium plus and then cesium plus. Lithium plus has maximum degree of hydration and for this reason, lithium salts are mostly hydrated. Example, LiCl dot 2 h 2 Physical properties. All the alkali metals are silvery white, soft and light metals. Because of the large size, these elements have low density which increases down the group from lithium to cesium. However, potassium is lighter than sodium. The melting and boiling points of alkali metals are low, indicating weak metallic bonding due to the presence of only a single valence electron in them. The alkali metals and their salts impart characteristic color to an oxidizing flame. This is because the heat from the flame excites the outermost orbital electron to a higher energy level. When the excited electron comes back to the ground state, there is emission of radiation in the visible region of the spectrum as given below. This is a very important reason hai, why they show flame test. Flame test is show that the electron moves when you provide kar rahe ho, aap heat. When heat provide ho hai, electron jump kar rahe, higher energy state. Ja when higher energy state se jab return, then the color or radiation emit. Hota hai. Okay? So, if we discuss lithium, lithium will show color that is crimson red. Sodium, yellow. Potassium, violet. Rubidium, red violet. Cesium, blue. Okay? Alkali metals can therefore be detected by the respective flame test and 
कैन बी डिटरमाइंड बाई फ्लेम फोटोमेट्री और एटोमिक एब्जॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी दीज एलिमेंट्स वेन इराडिएटेड विथ लाइट द लाइट एनर्जी एब्जॉर्ब मे बी सफिशियंट टू मेक एन एटम लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन सो यू कैन रिफर टू द टेबल ओवर यूर एटोमिक एंड फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द अल्कली मेटल्स प्लीज गो थ्रू इट it is not that much important but when you group go through it you will get an idea about what is the table depicting to you okay this property makes cesium and potassium useful as electrodes in photoelectric cells chemical properties the alkali metals are highly reactive due to their large size and low ionization enthalpies two very important factors large size and low ionization enthalpy the reactivity of these metal increases down the group first reactivity towards air the alkali metal tarnish in air due to formation of their oxides which in turn react with moisture to form hydroxide they burn vigorously in oxygen forming oxides lithium forms monoxide sodium forms peroxide the other metals form superoxide the superoxide o2 minus ion is stable only in the presence of large cations such as potassium rubidium cesium reaction 4li plus o2 gives 2 lithium oxide that is li2o 2 Na plus O2 will give Na2O2. Metal plus O2 will give MO2. That is superoxide. That M can be potassium, rubidium, cesium, etc. In all these oxides, the oxidation state of the alkali metal is plus one. Lithium shows exceptional behavior in reacting directly with nitrogen of air to form the nitride that is li3n as well because of their high reactivity towards air and water alkali metals are normally kept in kerosene oil what is the oxidation state of potassium in ko2 okay the superoxide species is represented as o2 minus since the compound is neutral therefore the oxidation state of potassium is plus 1 reactivity towards water the alkali metal react with water to form oxide and dihydrogen two metal plus two water will give two metal ions 2m plus plus 2 oh minus plus h2 where m is an alkali metal it may be noted that although lithium has most negative e minus value its reaction with water is less vigorous than that of sodium which has the least e negative value among the alkali metals this behavior of lithium is attributed to its small size and very high hydration energy other metals of the group react explosively with water they also react with proton donors such as alcohol gaseous ammonia and alkynes reactivity towards hydrogen the alkali metals react with dihydrogen at about 673 kelvin lithium at 1073 kelvin to form hydrides all alkali metal hydrides are ionic solids with high melting points two metal plus h2 will give two m plus h minus reactivity towards halogen the alkali metal readily react vigorously with halogens to form ionic halides m plus x minus however lithium halides are somewhat covalent it is because of the high polarization capability of lithium ion the distortion of electron cloud of the anion by the cation is called polarization the lithium plus ion is very small in size and has high tendency to distort electron cloud around the negative halide ion 
since an ion with large size can be easily distorted among halides lithium iodide is the most covalent in nature reducing nature the alkali metals are strong reducing agents lithium being the most and sodium the least powerful the standard electrode potential e not which measures the reducing power represents the overall change metal in solid directly goes to metal gaseous that is sublimation enthalpy metal gas gives metal ion that is m plus plus electron is ionization enthalpy metal plus in gaseous state reacts with water it becomes m plus aqueous that is hydration enthalpy with the small size of its ion lithium has the highest hydration enthalpy which accounts for its high negative e not value and its high reducing power okay you can go through this problem 10.2 where the order is given for reducing strength the order is lithium is highly reducing then sodium then i minus then ag and then cl minus solutions in liquid ammonia the alkali metals dissolve in liquid ammonia giving deep blue solution which are conducting in nature that is metal plus some x plus y amount of ammonia gives metal ammonia complex that is x plus e nh3 y minus the blue color of the solution is due to the ammoniated electron which absorbs energy in the visible region of light and thus imparts blue color to the solution the solutions are paramagnetic and on standing slowly liberate hydrogen resulting in the formation of amide metal plus plus electron plus ammonia will give mnh2 plus half h2 gas your am denotes solution in ammonia in concentrated solution the blue color changes to bronze color and becomes diamagnetic uses lithium metal is used to make alloys for example with lead to make white metal bearing for motor engines with aluminum to make aircraft parts and with magnesium to make armor plates it is used in thermonuclear reactions lithium is also used to make electrochemical cells sodium is to make a uh, sodium napb alloy need to make PBET4 and PBME4 these organo lead compounds were earlier used as anti knock additives to petrol but nowadays vehicle use lead free petrol liquid sodium metal is used as a coolant in fast breeder nuclear reactors potassium has a vital role in biological system potassium chloride is used as fertilizer potassium hydroxide is used in manufacture of soft soap it is also used as an excellent absorbent of carbon dioxide cesium is used in devising photoelectric cells general characteristics of the compounds of the alkali metals all the common compounds of the alkali metals are generally ionic in nature general characteristics of some of their compounds are discussed here oxides and hydroxide on combustion in excess of air lithium forms mainly the oxide li2o plus some peroxide also that is li2o2 sodium forms the peroxide na2o2 and some superoxide nao2 while potassium rubidium and cesium form the superoxides that is mo2 under appropriate emotion uh, under appropriate conditions pure compounds m2o m2o2 and mo2 may be prepared 
the increasing stability of peroxide or superoxide as the size of the metal ion increases is due to the stabilization of larger ions by larger cations through lattice energy effects these oxides are easily hydrolyzed by water to form the hydroxide according to the following reaction m2o plus h2o will give 2 metal plus 2 oh minus m2o2 plus 2 h2o will give 2 metal plus plus 2 oh minus plus h2o2 2 mo2 plus 2 h2o will give 2 metal plus 2 oh minus plus 2 h2o2 plus o2 the oxides and peroxides are colorless when pure but the superoxides are yellow or orange in color the superoxides are also paramagnetic sodium peroxide is widely used as an oxidizing agent in inorganic chemistry why is ko2 paramagnetic that is the superoxide o2 minus is paramagnetic because of one unpaired electron in pi star 2p molecular orbital the hydroxides which are obtained by the reaction of oxides with water are all white crystalline solids the alkali metal or hydroxide are the strongest of all bases and dissolve freely in water with evolution of much heat on account of intense hydration halides the alkali metal halides mx x can be fluorine chlorine bromine iodine are all high melting colorless crystalline solids they can be prepared by the reaction of appropriate oxide hydroxide or carbonate with aqueous hydrochloric acid all of these halides have high negative enthalpies of formation the delta f h values for the fluorides become less negative as we go down the group wills the res- reverse is true for formation of chlorides bromides and iodides for a given metal the enthalpy of formation always becomes less negative from fluoride to iodide the melting and boiling points always follow the trend fluoride chloride bromide iodide that is fluoride is the greatest and iodide is the least which trend melting and boiling point trend all these halides are soluble in water the low solubility of uh, lithium fluoride in water is due to its high lattice enthalpy whereas the low solubility of cesium iodide is due to smaller hydration enthalpy of its two ions okay so here you can understand both have low solubility but li- lithium fluoride is why because of its lattice enthalpy and cesium iodide is uh, why less soluble because of its smaller hydration enthalpy okay other halides of lithium are soluble in ethanol acetone and ethyl acetate lithium chloride is soluble in pyridine also salts of oxo acid oxo acids are those in which the acidic proton is on a hydroxyl group with an oxo group attached to the same atom that is carbonic acid h2co3 so if we have to resemble it how it would be it would be o carbon and in bracket oh close the bracket everything is whole twice sulfuric acid h2co4 it will be represented as o2 s in bracket oh twice okay the alkali metals form salts with all the oxo acids they are generally soluble in water and thermally stable they are carbonates m2co3 and in most case the hydrogen carbonates that is m m is metal okay mhco3 also are highly stable to heat as the electropositive character increases down the group the stability of the carbonates and hydrogen carbonates increases lithium carbonate is not so stable to heat 
Lithium being very small in size polarizes a large CO3 to minus ion leading to the formation of more stable Li2O and carbon dioxide. Its hydrogen carbonate does not exist as a solid. Anomalous properties of lithium. The anomalous behavior of lithium is due to the exceptionally small size of its atom and ion and high polarizing power that is charged by radius ratio. As a result, there is increased covalent character of lithium compounds which is responsible for the solubility in organic solvents. Further, lithium shows diagonal relationship to magnesium which has been discussed subsequently. Points of difference between lithium and other alkali metals. First, lithium is much harder. Its melting point and boiling point are higher than the other alkali metals. Second, lithium is least reactive but the strongest reducing agent among all the alkali metals. On combustion in air, it forms mainly monoxide, Li2O, and the nitride, Li3N, unlike other alkali metals. Third, lithium chloride is deliquescent and crystallizes as a hydrate, LiCl.2H2O, and the whereas other alkali metals chlorides do not form hydrates. Fourth, lithium hydrogen carbonate is not obtained in solid form while all other elements from solid hydrogen form solid hydrogen carbonates. Fifth, lithium unlike other alkali metals forms no ethanide on reaction with ethane. Sixth, lithium nitrate when heated gives lithium oxide Li2O whereas other alkali metals nitrate decompose to give the corresponding nitrite that is if, if I talk about lithium nitrates LiNO3 it will give Li2O and NO2 plus O2 but if I talk about sodium sodium nitrate NaNO3 it will give NaNO2 plus O2 so here is the difference you will get nitride with other metals whereas with uh, lithium you get oxides seventh lithium fluoride and lithium oxide are comparatively much less soluble in water than the corresponding compounds of other alkali metals points of similarities between lithium and magnesium the similarity between lithium and magnesium is particularly striking and arises because of their similar sizes. Atomic radius of lithium is equal to 152 picometer, whereas magnesium it is 160 pm. Ionic radii of lithium plus is 76 pm, whereas Mg2 plus it is 72 pm. The main points of similarity are both lithium and magnesium are harder and lighter than other elements in the respective groups. Lithium and magnesium react slowly with water. Their oxides and hydroxides are much less soluble and their hydroxides decompose on heating. Both form a nitrite Li3N and Mg3N2 by direct combination with nitrogen. Third, the oxides Li2O and MgO do not combine with excess oxygen to give any superoxide. Fourth, the carbonates of lithium and magnesium decompose easily on heating to form the oxides and CO2. Solid hydrogen carbonates are not formed by lithium and magnesium. Both lithium chloride and magnesium chloride are soluble in ethanol. Both lithium chloride and magnesium chloride are deliquescent and crystallize from aqueous solution as hydrates lithium chloride dot 2H2O and magnesium chloride dot 6H2O. Some important compounds of sodium. Industrially important compounds of sodium include sodium carbonate, sodium hydroxide, sodium chloride and sodium bicarbonate. 
The large scale production of these compounds and their uses are described below. Sodium carbonate that is washing soda Na2CO3.10 H2O Sodium carbonate is generally prepared by Solvay process. In this process advantage is taken of the low solubility of sodium hydrogen carbonate whereby it gets precipitated in the reaction of sodium chloride with ammonium hydrogen carbonate. The latter is prepared by passing CO2 to a concentrated solution of sodium chloride saturated with ammonia where ammonium carbonate followed by ammonium hydrogen carbonate are formed. The equation for complete process may be written as you can look at the screen because if I go to read on the equation, it will become difficult for you to understand. So pause and just go through the screen, a screen, look at the equation and try to understand it. Sodium hydrogen carbonate crystal separates. These are heated to give sodium carbonate. 2 NaHCO3 will give Na2CO3 plus carbon dioxide plus water. In this process, Ammonia is recovered when the solution containing ammonium chloride is treated with calcium hydroxide. Calcium chloride is obtained as a byproduct. Ammonium chloride plus calcium hydroxide will give you ammonia plus calcium chloride plus water. It may be mentioned here that Solvay process cannot be extended to the manufacture of potassium carbonate because Potassium hydrogen carbonate is too soluble to be precipitated by addition of ammonium hydrogen carbonate to a saturated solution of potassium chloride. Properties Sodium carbonate is a white crystalline solid which exists as a decahydrate Na2CO3.10H2O. This is also called washing soda. It is readily soluble in water. On heating, the decahydrate loses its water of crystallization to form monohydrate. Above, two, above 373 Kelvin, the monohydrate becomes completely anhydrous and changes to a white powder called ash. Na2CO3.10H2O in the uh, three, at 375 Kelvin gives. Na2CO3 dot H2O plus 9H2O that is the water of crystallization is lost. Again if you heat the same compound and the temperature is greater than 3, 373 Kelvin then all the water of crystallization is lost and the water is released. Carbonate part of sodium carbonate gets hydrolyzed by water to form an alkaline solution. CO3 2 minus plus water will give HCO3 minus plus OH minus. Uses It is used in water softening, laundry and cleaning. Second, it is used in manufacture of glass, soap, borax and caustic soda. Third, it is used in paper, paints and textile industries. Fourth, it is used as an important laboratory reagent both in qualitative and quantitative analysis. Sodium chloride, NaCl, the most abundant source of sodium chloride is seawater which contains 2.7 to 2.9 percent by mass of the salt. In tropical countries like India, common salt is generally obtained by evaporation of seawater. Approximately 50 lakh tons of salt are produced annually in India by solar evaporation. Crude sodium chloride generally obtained by crystallization of brine solution contains sodium sulfate, calcium sulfate, calcium chloride and magnesium chloride as impurities. Calcium chloride CaCl2 and magnesium chloride MgCl2 are impurities because they are deliquescent, absorb moisture easily from the atmosphere. To obtain pure sodium chloride, the crude salt is dissolved in minimum amount of water and filtered to remove insoluble impurities. The solution is then saturated with hydrogen chloride gas. Crystals of pure sodium chloride separate out. 
calcium and magnesium chloride being more soluble than sodium chloride remain in the solution sodium chloride melts at 1081 kelvin it has a solubility of 36 g in 100 g of water at 273 kelvin the solubility does not increase appreciably with increase in temperature uses it is used as a common salt or table salt for domestic purpose second it is used for preparation of na2o2 naoh and na2co3 sodium hydroxide or caustic soda that is naoh Sodium hydroxide is generally prepared commercially by the electrolysis of sodium chloride in the Kastner Kellner cell. A brine solution is electrolyzed using a mercury cathode and a carbon anode. Sodium metal discharge at the cathode combines with mercury to form sodium amalgam. Chlorine gas is evolved at the anode. The reaction at the cathode can be represented as Na plus plus electron in the presence of mercury forms sodium amalgam. At anode, chlorine minus becomes half Cl two plus it loses electron. The amalgam is treated with water to give sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Equationally, it can be written as two sodium amalgam plus two water will give two Na NaOH plus two Hg plus H two. Sodium hydroxide is a white translucent solid. It melts at it melts at five ninety one Kelvin. It is readily soluble in water to give a strong alkaline solution. Crystals of sodium hydroxide are deliquescent. The sodium hydroxide solution at the surface reacts with the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere to form Na2CO3. Uses: It is used in the manufacture of soap, paper, artificial silk, and a number of chemicals. Second, in petroleum refining. Third, in the purification of bauxite. Fourth, in the textile industries for mercerizing cotton fabrics. Fifth. for the preparation of pure fats and oils and sixth as a laboratory reagent sodium hydrogen carbonate baking soda nahco3 sodium hydrogen carbonate is known as baking soda because it decomposes on heating to generate bubbles of carbon dioxide leaving holes in cakes or pastries and making them light and fluffy Sodium hydrogen carbonate is made by saturating a solution of sodium carbonate with carbon dioxide. The white crystalline powder of sodium hydrogen carbonate being less soluble gets separated out. NAT Na2CO3 that is sodium hydrogen carbonate uh, sodium bicarbonate sodium carbonate plus water plus carbon dioxide gives 2 NaHCO3. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is a mild antiseptic for skin infections. It is used in fire extinguishers. Biological importance of sodium and potassium. A typical 70 kg man contains about 90 g of sodium and 170 g of potassium compared with only 5 g of iron and 0.06 g of copper. Sodium ions are found primarily on the outside of cells being located in blood plasma and in interstitial fluid which surrounds the cell these ions participate in the transmission of nerve signals in regulating the form of flow of water across the cell membranes and in transport of sugars and amino acids into cells Sodium and potassium although so similar chemically differ quantitatively in their ability to penetrate cell membranes in their transport mechanism and in their efficiency to activate enzymes thus potassium ions are the most abundant cations within 
cell fluids where they activate many enzymes participate in the oxidation of glucose to produce atp and with sodium are responsible for transmission of nerve signal there is a very considerable variation in the concentration of the sodium and potassium ions found on the opposite sides of the cell membranes as a typical example in blood plasma sodium is present to the extent of 143 millimole per liter whereas the potassium level is only 5 millimole per liter within the red blood cells these concentration change to 10 millimole per liter na plus and 105 millimole per liter k plus These ionic gradients demonstrate that a discriminatory mechanism called the sodium potassium pump operates across the cell membranes which consumes more than 1/3 of the ATP used by a resting animal and about 15 kg per 24 h in a resting human. Group 2 elements alkaline earth metals The group 2 elements comprise beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium and radium. They follow alkali metals in the periodic table. These except beryllium are known as alkaline earth metals. The first element beryllium differs from the rest of the members and show diagonal relationship to aluminium. The atomic and physical properties of alkaline earth metals are shown in the table 10.2. Electronic configuration these elements have two electrons in the s orbital of the valence shell. Their general electronic configuration may be represented as noble gas ns2. Like alkali metals the compound of these elements are also predominantly ionic. Element it can be beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium radium so you all know the electronic configuration outermost would be of course s2 okay so for beryllium it is 1s2 2s2 you can refer to the table okay atomic and ionic radii the atomic and ionic radii of the alkaline earth metals are smaller than those of the corresponding alkali metals in the same periods this is due to increased nuclear charge in these elements within the group the atomic and ionic radii increase with increase in atomic number ionization enthalpies the alkaline earth metals have low ionization enthalpy due to fairly large size of the atoms since the atomic size increases down the group their ionization enthalpy decreases the first ionization enthalpy of the alkaline earth metals are higher than those of the corresponding group 1 elements this is due to the smaller size as compared to the corresponding alkali metals it is interesting to note that the second ionization enthalpies of the alkaline earth metals are smaller than those of the corresponding alkali metals hydration enthalpies like alkali metal ions the hydration enthalpies of alkaline earth metal ions decrease with increase in ionic size down the group so beryllium 2 plus has the highest ionization enthalpy then magnesium then calcium then strontium and then barium the hydration enthalpies of alkaline earth metals are larger than those of alkali metals ions thus compound of alkaline earth metals are more extensively hydrated than those of alkali metals example mgcl2 and calcium chloride exist as mgcl2.6h2o and calcium chloride.6h2o while nacl and kcl do not form such hydrates physical properties the alkaline earth metals in general are the are silvery white lustrous and relatively soft but harder than alkali metals beryllium and magnesium appear to be somewhat grayish 
द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ दीज मेटल्स आर हायर देन द करस्पॉन्डिंग अल्कली मेटल्स ड्यू टू स्मॉलर साइजेस द ट्रेंड इज हाउ एवर नॉट सिस्टमैटिक बिकॉज ऑफ द लो आयनाइजेशन एंड थालपीज दे आर स्ट्रॉन्गली इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव इन नेचर द इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव कैरेक्टर इंक्रीजेस डाउन द ग्रुप फ्रॉम बेरिलियम टू बेरियम कैल्शियम स्ट्रॉनशियम एंड बेरियम इम्पार्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ब्रिक रेड क्रिमजन एंड एप्पल ग्रीन कलर्स रिस्पेक्टिवली टू द फ्लेम इन फ्लेम द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर एक्साइटेड टू हायर एनर्जी लेवल्स एंड वेन दे ड्रॉप बैक टू द ग्राउंड स्टेट एनर्जी इज एमिटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ विजिबल लाइट द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन बेरिलियम एंड मैग्नीशियम आर टू स्ट्रॉन्गली बाउंड टू गेट एक्साइटेड बाई फ्लेम hence these elements do not impart any color to the flame the flame test for calcium strontium and barium is helpful in the detection in qualitative analysis and estimation by flame photometry the alkaline earth metals like those of alkali metals have high electrical and thermal conductivities which are typical characteristics of a uh, of metals chemical properties the alkaline earth metals are less reactive than the alkali metals the reactivity of these element increases on going down the group first reactivity towards air and water beryllium and magnesium are kinetically inert to oxygen and water because of the formation of an oxide film on their surface However, powdered beryllium burns brilliantly on ignition in air to give beryllium oxide that is BeO and barium nitride that is Be3N2. Magnesium is more electropositive and burns with dazzling brilliance in air to give MgO and Mg3N2. calcium strontium and barium are readily attacked by air to form the oxide and nitrite they also react with water with increasing vigor even in cold to form hydroxide reactivity towards the halogens all the alkaline earth metals combine with the halogen at elevated temperatures forming their halides that metal plus x2 will give mx2 x can be fluoride chloride bromide iodide thermal decomposition of nh4 twice bef4 is the best route for preparation of beryllium fluoride and beryllium chloride is conveniently made from the oxide beo plus carbon plus chloride will in the at temperature 600 kelvin to 800 kelvin will give beryllium chloride plus carbon monoxide reactivity towards hydrogen all the elements except beryllium combine with hydrogen upon heating to form their hydrides mh2 beryllium beh2 however can be prepared by reaction of beryllium chloride with lithium aluminum hydride beryllium chloride plus lithium uh, lithium aluminum hydride will give beh2 that is beryllium hydride plus lcl lithium chloride plus aluminum chloride alcl3 reactivity towards acid The alkaline earth metals readily react with acids liberating dihydrogen. Metal plus 2 HCl gives MCl2 plus H2. Reducing nature. Like alkali metals, the alkaline earth metals are strong reducing agents. This is indicated by large negative values of their reduction potential. However, their reducing power is less than those of their corresponding alkali metals. Beryllium has less negative value compared to other alkaline earth metals. However, its reducing nature is due to large hydration energy associated with the small size of beryllium 2 plus ion and relatively large value of the atomization enthalpy of the metal. Solutions in liquid ammonia 
Like alkali metals, the alkaline earth metals dissolve in liquid ammonia to give deep blue-black solutions forming ammoniated ions. Metals plus X plus Y amount of ammonia will form MnH3X complex 2 plus plus 2ENH3Y minus. From these solutions, the ammoniates MnH3 in bracket 6 2 plus can be recovered. Please refer to the screen whenever I am uh, discussing any equation or any reaction. Uses. Beryllium is used in manufacture of alloys. Copper beryllium alloys are used in the preparation of high strength springs. Metallic beryllium is used for making windows of x-ray tubes. Magnesium forms alloys with aluminium, zinc, manganese and tin. Magnesium aluminium alloys being light in mass are used in aircraft construction. Magnesium Powder and ribbon is used in flash powders and bulbs, in incendiary bombs and signals. A suspension of magnesium hydroxide in water called milk of magnesia is used as anti-acid in the medicine. Magnesium carbonate is an ingredient of toothpaste. Calcium is used in extraction of metals from oxides which are difficult to reduce with carbon. Calcium and barium metals owing to their reactivity with oxygen and nitrogen at elevated temperatures have often been used to remove air from vacuum tubes. Radium salts are used in radiotherapy for example in the treatment of cancer. General characteristics of the compounds of the alkaline earth metals. The dipositive oxidation state M2 plus is the predominant valence of group 2 elements. The alkaline earth metals form compounds which are predominantly ionic but less ionic than the corresponding compounds of alkali metals. This is due to increased nuclear charge and smaller size. The oxides and other compounds of beryllium and magnesium are more covalent than those formed by the heavier and large size members calcium, strontium, barium. The general characteristics of some of the compounds of alkali earth metals are described below. Oxides and hydroxides. The alkaline earth metals burn in oxygen to form the monoxide, MO, which except for BeO, have rock salt structure. The beryllium oxide is essentially covalent in nature. The enthalpies of formation of these oxides are quite high and consequently they are very stable to heat. Beryllium oxide is amphoteric while oxides of other elements are ionic in nature. All these oxides except beryllium oxide are basic in nature and react with water to form, to form sparingly soluble hydroxides. Metal oxide plus water will give metal hydroxide. The solubility, thermal stability and basic character of these hydroxide increase with increasing atomic number from magnesium hydroxide to barium hydroxide. The alkaline earth metal hydroxide are however less basic and less stable than alkali metal hydroxides. Beryllium hydroxide is amphoteric in nature as it reacts with acid and alkali both. Beryllium hydroxide plus 2OH minus will give beryllate ion that is Be in bracket H2O4 times close the bracket Cl2. Beryllium hydroxide plus 2HCl plus water will give BeOH4 close the bracket chlorides. Halides. Except for beryllium halides, all other halides of alkaline earth metals are ionic in nature. Beryllium halides are essentially covalent and soluble in organic solvents. Beryllium chloride has a chain structure in the solid state as shown below. That is beryllium is bonded to other chlorine atoms. In the vapor phase, beryllium chloride tends to form a 
chlorobridged dimer which dissociates into the linear monomer at high temperatures of the order of 1200 kelvin the tendency to form halide hydrates gradually decreases for example mgcl2.8 h2o calcium chloride.6 h2o strontium chloride.6 h2o and beryllium uh, barium chloride dot 2 h2o down the group the dehydration of hydrated chlorides bromides and iodides of calcium strontium and barium can be achieved on heating however the corresponding hydrated halides of beryllium and magnesium on heating suffer hydrolysis the fluorides are relatively less soluble than the chlorides owing to their higher lattice energy salts of oxo acids the alkaline earth metals also form salts of oxo acids some of these are carbonates of alkaline earth metals are insoluble in water and can be precipitated by the addition of sodium or ammonium carbonate solution to a solution of a soluble salt of these metals the solubility of carbonates in water decreases as the atomic number of the metal ion increases all the carbonates decompose on heating to give carbon dioxide and the oxide beryllium carbonate is unstable and can be kept only in the atmosphere of carbon dioxide the thermal stability increases with increasing cationic size sulfates the sulfates of the alkaline earth metals are all white solids and stable to heat beso4 and mgso4 are readily soluble in water the solubility decreases from calcium sulfate to barium sulfate the greater hydration enthalpies of beryllium 2 plus and mg 2 plus ions overcome the lattice enthalpy factor and therefore their sulfates are soluble in water nitrates the nitrates are made by dissolution of carbonates in dilute nitric acid magnesium nitrate crystallizes with six molecules of water whereas barium nitrate crystallizes as the anhydrous salt this again shows a decreasing tendency to form hydrates with increasing size and decreasing hydration enthalpy all of them decompose on heating to give the oxide like lithium nitrate two metal plus uh, two metal nitrate gives metal oxide plus 4 no2 plus o2 the metal can be barium beryllium magnesium calcium strontium or barium it can be anything problem 10.4 why does the solubility of alkaline earth metal hydroxide in water increases down the group answer among alkaline earth metal hydroxide the anion being common the cationic radius will influence the lattice enthalpy since lattice enthalpy decreases much more than the hydration enthalpy with increasing ionic size the solubility increases as we go down the group problem 10.5 why does the solubility of alkaline earth metal carbonates and sulfates in water decrease down the group the size of anions being much larger compared to the cations the lattice enthalpy will remain almost constant within a particular group since the hydration enthalpy decreases down the group solubility will decrease as found for alkaline earth metal carbonates and sulfates anomalous behavior of beryllium beryllium the first member of group 2 metal show anomalous behavior as compared to magnesium and rest of the members further it shows a diagonal relationship to aluminum which is discussed subsequently beryllium has exceptionally small atomic and ionic sizes and thus do not compare well with other members of the group because of high ionization enthalpy and small size it forms compound which are largely covalent and gets easily hydrolyzed beryllium does not exhibit coordination number more than 4 as its 
as in its valence shell there are only four orbitals the remaining members of the group can have a coordination coordination number of 6 by making the use of d orbitals the oxide and hydroxide of beryllium unlike the hydroxide of other elements in the group are amphoteric in nature diagonal relationship between beryllium and aluminium the ionic radius of beryllium 2 plus is estimated to be 31 picometer the charge by radius ratio is nearly the same as that of the al3 plus ion hence beryllium resembles aluminium in some ways some of the similarities are first like aluminium beryllium is not readily attacked by acids because of the presence of an oxide film on the surface of the metal beryllium hydroxide dissolves in excess of alkali to give a beryllate ion that is be in bracket oh4 close the whole bracket to minus just as aluminium hydroxide gives aluminate ion that is al in bracket oh4 the whole minus The chlorides of both beryllium and aluminium have Cl- bridged chloride structure in vapor phase. Both the chlorides are soluble in organic solvents and are strong Lewis acids. They are used as Friedel-Crafts catalyst. Beryllium and aluminum ions have strong tendency to form complexes BeF4 2- AlF6 3- some important compounds of calcium important compounds of calcium are calcium oxide calcium hydroxide calcium sulfate calcium carbonate and cement these are industrially important compounds the large scale preparation of these compounds and their uses are described below calcium oxide or quick lime cao it is prepared on a commercial scale by heating limestone that is calcium carbonate caco3 in a rotary kiln at 1070 or 1270 kelvin calcium carbonate on heating at this temperature it will give calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is removed as soon as it is produced to enable the reaction to proceed to completion Calcium oxide is a white amorphous solid. It has a melting point of 2870 Kelvin. On exposure to atmosphere, it absorbs moisture and carbon dioxide. Calcium oxide plus water will give calcium hydroxide. Calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide will give calcium carbonate. The addition of limited amount of water breaks the lump of lime. The, this process is called slaking of lime quick lime slaked with soda gives solid soda lime being a basic oxide it combines with the acidic oxides at high temperature calcium oxide plus silicon oxide will give you calcium silicates that is caso3 6 calcium oxide plus p4o10 will give calcium thrice po4 twice okay uses it is an important primary material for manufacturing cement and is the cheapest form of alkali it is used in the manufacture of sodium carbonate from caustic soda it is employed in purification of sugar and in the manufacture of dye stuffs calcium hydroxide slake lime caoh twice Calcium hydroxide is prepared by adding water to quick lime calcium oxide it is a white amorphous powder it is sparingly soluble in water the aqueous solution is known as lime water and a suspension of slake lime in water is known as milk of lime when carbon dioxide is passed through lime water it turns milky due to formation of calcium carbonate calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide gives calcium carbonate plus water on passing excess of carbon dioxide the precipitate dissolves to form calcium hydrogen carbonate 
calcium carbonate plus carbon dioxide plus water will give calcium hydrogen carbonate milk of lime reacts with chlorine to form hypochlorite a constituent of a bleaching powder milk of lime calcium hydroxide with chlorine cl2 will give calcium chloride plus calcium oxychloride that is calcium hypochlorite plus two water uses it is used in the preparation of a mortar a building material it is used in white wash due to its disinfectant nature it is used in glass making in tanning industry for the preparation of bleaching powder and for purification of sugar calcium carbonate caco3 calcium carbonate occurs in nature in several forms like limestone chalk marble etc it can be prepared by passing carbon dioxide through slake lime or by addition of sodium carbonate to calcium chloride calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide gives calcium carbonate plus water calcium chloride plus na2co3 gives calcium carbonate caco3 plus 2 nacl excess of carbon dioxide should be avoided since this leads to the formation of water soluble calcium hydrogen carbonate calcium carbonate is a white fluffy powder it is almost insoluble in water when heated to 1200 kelvin it decomposes to evolve carbon dioxide calcium carbonate at 1200 kelvin gives calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide it reacts with dilute acid to liberate carbon dioxide calcium carbonate plus 2 hcl will give calcium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide calcium carbonate plus h2so4 gives calcium sulfate plus water plus co2 uses it is used as a building material in the form of a marble and in the manufacture of quick lime calcium carbonate along with magnesium carbonate is used as a flux in the extraction of metals such as iron especially precipitated calcium carbonate is extensively used in the manufacture of high quality paper it is also used as an anti acid mild abrasive in toothpaste a constituent of chewing gum and a filler in cosmetics calcium sulfate plaster of paris caso4 dot half h2o it is a hemi hydrate of calcium sulfate it is obtained when gypsum calcium sulfate dot 2h2o is heated to 393 kelvin 2 calcium sulfate dot 2h2o gives 2 calcium sulfate dot h2o plus 3 h2o above 393 kelvin no water of crystallization is left and anhydrous calcium sulfate caso4 is formed this is known as dead burnt plaster it has a remarkable property of setting with water on mixing with an adequate quantity of water it forms a plastic mass that gets into a hard solid in 5 to 15 minutes uses the largest use of plaster of paris is is in the building industries as well as plasters it is used for immobilizing the affected part of organ where there is a bone fracture or sprain it is also employed in dentistry in ornamental work and for making cast of statues and bust cement cement is an important building material it was first introduced in england in 1824 by joseph asdin it is also called portland cement because it resembles with white with the natural limestone quarried in the isle of Port- portland england cement is a product obtained by combining a material rich in lime calcium oxide with other materials such as clay which contains silica silic uh, sio2 along with the oxides of aluminium iron and magnesium the average composition of portland cement is calcium oxide 50 to 60% silicon oxide 20 to 25% aluminium oxide 5 to 10% magnesium oxide 2 to 3% Fe2O3 1 to 2 percent and SO3 almost 1 to 3 percent. For a good quality cement, the ratio of silica 
SiO2 to alumina alumina Al2O3 should be between 2.5 and 4 and the ratio of lime calcium oxide to the total of the oxides of silicon SiO2 aluminium Al2O3 and iron Fe2O3 should be as close as possible to 2 the raw materials for the manufacture of cements are limestone and clay when clay and limestone are strongly heated together, they fuse and react to form cement clinker. This clinker is mixed with 2 to 3 percent by weight of gypsum, calcium sulfate dot 2 H2O to form cement. Thus, important ingredients present in Portland cement are dicalcium silicate, calcium twice uh, SiO4 26 percent, tricalcium silicate ca3 sio5 51% and tricalcium aluminate ca3 al2o6 11% setting of the cement when mixed with water the setting of cement takes place to give a hard mass this is due to the hydration of molecules of the constituents and their rearrangement the purpose of adding gypsum is only to slow down the process of setting of the cement so that it gets sufficiently hardened. Uses Cement has become a commodity of national necessity for any country next to iron and steel. It is used in concrete and reinforced concrete in plastering and construction of bridges, dams and buildings. Biological importance of magnesium and calcium. An adult body contains about 25 gram of magnesium and 1200 gram of calcium compared with only 5 gram of iron and 0 0.06 gram of copper. The daily requirement in the human body has been estimated to be 200 to 300 milligram. All enzymes that utilize ATP in phosphate transfer require magnesium as a cofactor. The main pigment for the absorption of light in plants is chlorophyll which contains magnesium. About 99% of the body calcium is present in bones and teeth. It also plays important role in the neuromuscular function, interneural neuronal transmission, cell membrane integrity and blood coagulation. The calcium concentration in plasma is regulated at about 100 mg per liter. It is maintained by two hormones, calcitonin and parathyroid hormone. Do you know that bone is not an inert and unchanging substance but it is continuously being cellulized and redeposited to the extent of 400 mg per day in man. All this calcium passes through the plasma. Summary The S block of the periodic table constitutes group 1 alkali metals and group 2 alkaline earth metals. They are so called because their oxides and hydroxides are alkaline in nature. The alkali metals are characterized by 1 S electron and the alkaline earth metals by 2 S electron in the valence shell of their atoms. These are highly reactive metals forming monopositive and dipositive ions respectively. There is a regular trend in the physical and chemical properties of alkali metal with increasing atomic numbers. The atomic and ionic sizes increase and the ionization enthalpy decrease systematically down the group. Somewhat similar trends are observed among the properties of the alkaline earth metals. The first element in each of these groups, lithium in group 1 and beryllium in group 2, show similarities in properties to the second member of the next group. Such similarities are termed as diagonal relationship in the periodic table. As such, these elements are anomalous as far as their group characteristics are concerned. The alkali metals are silvery white, soft and low melting. They are highly reactive. The compounds of alkali metals are predominantly ionic. Their oxides and hydroxides are soluble in water, forming strong alkalis. Important compounds of sodium include sodium carbonate, sodium chloride, sodium hydroxide and sodium hydrogen carbonate. 
Sodium hydroxide is manufactured by Kasna Kellner process and sodium carbonate by Solvay process. The chemistry of alkaline earth metal is very much like that of the alkali metals. However, some differences arises because of reduced atomic and ionic sizes and increased cationic charges in case of alkaline earth metals. Their oxides and hydroxides are less basic than alkali metal oxides and hydroxides. Industrially important compounds of calcium include calcium oxide, lime, calcium hydroxide, slake lime, calcium sulfate, plaster of Paris, calcium carbonate, limestone and cement. Portland cement is an important construction material. It is manufactured by heating a pulverized mixture of limestone and a clay in a rotary kiln. The clinker thrust obtained is mixed with some gypsum 2-3% to give a fine powder of cement. All these substances find variety of uses in different areas. Monovalent sodium and potassium ions and divalent magnesium and calcium ions are found in large proportion in biological fluids. These ions perform important biological functions such as maintenance of ion balance and nerve impulse conduction. So here yeah, we complete the reading of chapter S block elements. I hope you understand, understood and enjoyed listening to the audio. If you like the audio, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, keep studying. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.